much. Good evening, uh, everyone. I am uh, so honored to uh, have uh, an opportunity to speak just after the Alpha Zero presentation because I'm the biggest fan. Uh, this is what motivated me to start working um, uh, and to start my PhD study on uh, the impact of artificial intelligence in chess. Because um, you all remember um, one of the most uh, famous uh, human versus machine events, which took place in uh, 1997, when um, Deep Blue won in front of uh, Kasparov. But uh, even from that moment, I felt like that we are not on the good path. We are not on exactly the good uh, path by um, uh, making all those uh, 200 million calculation per second just to win uh, or just to play at a highly, um, slightly higher level than um, Gary Kasparov. What I mean by that is that is um, Kasparov lost that game, but he lost and still gained two and a half points in front of a machine that was calculating 200 million positions per second. So it was mainly brute force, and um, only two years ago, like you know already, Alpha Zero came and proved that we don't need so much brute force, we don't need to calculate 200 million positions to play. Well, we have to learn from uh, humans, so the, the engine uh, learned from humans that um, we started to use the creativity and the intuition, and um, it's um, something uh, I find it amazing that um, first the engines are um, trying to uh, calculate every possible move, and then uh, this change came, and Alpha Zero um, was um, improving itself um, the way uh, children learn by observation. It observed millions and millions of uh, games. And now we are learning from Alpha Zero, and uh, we are trying to apply uh, the new principles in uh, our game. So don't be scared about the uh, progress in artificial intelligence. We are not trying to destroy the human uh, playing. Uh, I mean, uh, from uh, so much time, uh, the cars are running uh, uh, with a higher speed. Uh, a human can possibly run um, with that speed like a car does, but uh, we still have uh, running competitions. So don't worry about that. We are not trying to uh, destroy anything. We just want to take the best of both worlds, which is the human um, observation and the machine observation. And um, for me, uh, as I told you, this was um, a feeling that Alpha Zero is finally going uh, to prove that uh, creativity is important. And uh, Mu Zero, that uh, represents a major milestone for the reinforcement learning school, as it showed that it is possible to achieve superhuman performance uh, without having prior knowledge, like um, the speakers before me told. So. Um, where do you think we have even more creativity in chess? I think uh, is in um, chess compositions. The chess uh, problems, chess diagrams, mate in two, mate in three, if you are familiar with uh, these terms, I'm sure you are. Um, we just compose those kinds of problems, chess diagrams, that um, the engines used to have a problem to solve. Exactly those kind of positions that now we are seeing in the Alpha Zero uh, with uh, playing against Stockfish, that some of the positions are um, not evaluated correctly by uh, Stockfish. This uh, kind of positions we are trying to create, to compose in um, our chess compositions. So we have uh, uh, even a world chess championship for solving and composing chess problems. And um, 
uh, it's uh, different. The positions don't look very natural. So for a chess player, uh, every time I uh, show them a position, the first reaction is, eh, anyway, uh, the white has more pieces, so what's the point of uh, winning? Anyway, the white is winning. But it's only exactly one move that can win in the number of moves that has to, for example, in exactly two moves, it's only one move that can do this. And uh, we don't have uh, on the uh, chessboard pieces that are not doing anything, so the position is economical, and it's uh, very beautiful, and um, uh, this is how I got to my uh, uh, PhD um, thesis, which is um, trying to create a software that will um, be able to compose, automatically compose those kinds of um, diagrams. And again, I'm not trying to take away the pleasure of composing a diagram, but this software will be able to evaluate uh, the beauty of a diagram to say this one is more beautiful than the other one. And uh, of course, we can uh, use this uh, also to um, tell if a composition is original. It's like in poetry, it's art. When you compose something, it has to be original. And I loved the comparison with music. And uh, it's uh, also a form of art. To compose a chess diagram that was uh, never available before that moment when you create it. And um, it's, it has the same, um, uh, it will have the same approach like uh, in Alpha Zero. So, like I told you, I'm the biggest fan of Alpha Zero. And I will try to apply what uh, they proved that uh, an engine can learn from scratch. So, basically, I will give the, uh, the engine uh, half million uh, diagrams, compositions that were already composed, and it will be able to learn. Um, by using uh, classification and um, machine learning um, algorithm to learn um, a gu guided learn, learn um, way of learning. Like I will tell him this uh, composition is a 10, this one is a 9, this one is an 8. And after uh, looking through millions of uh, positions, only a few of them will be tagged with a note. He will be, the, the algorithm will be able to uh, evaluate all of them and in the end uh, compose, automatically compose chess problems and know what is the level of the chess diagram that uh, it composed. So it will tell, I just composed the diagram, it's a mate in two, but it's not as beautiful, it's only a five from ten, so I will keep trying. This is uh, what I'm going to do, and I'm sure after it will be done, uh, it will help the chess composers community, and not the opposite. It will not uh, stop people uh, composing chess problems, and uh, the intent is to help them all. Thank you very much if you have any questions about this. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Lydia. Yes. Any, um... <laughs> A any questions uh, to Delia? First, from, from, from Fernand Gobe. Thank you for this very interesting talk. Thank you. A researcher from Malaysia, uh, Dr. Iqbal, also developed a software to compose, to compose uh, problems. problems. Yes. Could you comment on what he did and how what you are doing is different? Yes, yes, yes. Um, there are a few more chess engines now that are trying to compose, uh, the automatically compose uh, diagrams. Mine was developed 10 years ago in my, um, when I finished the master. And um, all of them are now composing uh, correct chess diagrams, but not very beautiful. It's like making a poetry to have a rhyme, but when you read it, it's not so beautiful. And uh, the only way to making uh, this possible, to create a real beautiful chess diagram, will be to make the engine understand the beauty of it. So uh, this is the new thing that I'm, I will bring, uh, because the automatical chess composer was already done, of course. Thank you. Any other questions for Delia? No? Oh, one from Alex. Yeah. Um, thanks. Can the um, can the approach be expanded? So I mean, so I mean, I enjoy um, chess compositions, but it's um, I mean, I'd argue it's fairly fairly niche interests compared to say general improvements in chess. I mean, could the, the approach be expanded so that um, computers can create um, say useful training positions for 
for beginners, for example, um, mates in one, mates in two, tactics, forks, etc. Was it uh, was it just kind of limited to um, it's kind of uh, compositions and, and artistic kind of value? Yes, of course. Uh, uh, when you uh, create automatically create uh, chess problems, you can um, um, ask them to be with a specific theme. Team, and that's uh, uh, what I already use for my uh, TV show. Uh, sometimes I just uh, take um, um, a specific theme that is uh, founded in two or three uh, positions, and like you said, you can give those three compositions that have a similar aspect in them and uh, teach uh, children how to react in some specific uh, position. So, of course, it will be used for this, of course. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much, Delia. Thank you very that much. That was a wonderful insight. <laughs>